Nigeria has a large adolescent and youth population with more than one in two people under the age of 24 and 41% of women of reproductive age within the 15 to 24 year age group. Postpartum women have the highest unmet need for family planning in Nigeria, with only 6% using any modern contraception six months after delivery. Supporting the state governments through their ministries of health, the community-focused approach for post-pregnancy family planning services PopCare, a four-year project, was funded by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, implemented by Clinton Health Access Initiative, in partnership with the Center for Communication and Social Impact and Tulane University. The aim of the PopCare project was to increase the uptake of post-pregnancy family planning services among young first-time parents in high home delivery settings in Lagos, Nasarawa and River State of Nigeria. The Pop Care project was implemented in a total of 11 selected local government areas and used a community-focused approach to increase the uptake of family planning services and reduce unintended pregnancies and unsafe abortions. In Nasarawa State, these were Lafia, Nasarawa and Nasarawa Egon. In Lagos State, Amuwa Dauphin. Ibejuleki, Ikorudu, and Lagos mainland, and a river state, Akukutoro, Asaritoro, Degema, and Ogobolo. Across the three pop care states, family planning demand generation activities were conducted by community volunteers. These community volunteers served as foot soldiers referring young first-time mothers aged between 15 and 24 years old and women of reproductive age to pop care supported facilities. At the facilities, trained service providers counseled and provided them with appropriate family planning information to make an informed choice for a family planning method that best suits them. The Pop Care Project also trained traditional birth attendants, TBAs, in Lagos and Nasarawa states, and community reproductive health influencers in River State, who also referred young first time mothers aged between 15 and 24 years, and women of reproductive age to make informed decisions and take up an appropriate family planning method from Pop Care supported facilities. The project carried out interventions in the local government areas through the state government's leadership while leveraging on community structures to provide family planning information and services. Through a human-centered and participatory approach, highly visual appealing and emotive social and behavioral change communication materials were produced in four languages, English, Pidgin, Yoruba, and Hausa. Lagos State is a cosmopolitan city located in the southwestern region of Nigeria. A few stakeholders had this to say about their involvement and the impact of the PopCare project. The PopCare project is basically a family planning project and as the reproductive health coordinator and family planning coordinator for the state, it's, it's a sort of my duty to coordinate activities within that space. So by and large, we've been coordinating the activities of the pop care project in Lagos State. Before this project, I have little knowledge about family planning, but with the help of, with the help of this project and the help of our facilitators, I've been able to have more experience about family planning. And this knowledge passed through me, I've been able to pass this knowledge to people in our community, by, you know, by busting the myth and misconception of family planning, the, you know, the negative belief of people about family planning. I've been able to tell people about different types of family planning that we have, where they can get the family planning. I'm not yet married. I'm still with my parents. I have just one son. I don't want to make the same mistake for getting pregnant. And I still want to go to school. Because when I get pregnant, I stop the education, but I still want to continue. That's why 
I'm interested in doing family planning. So she now turned to me and asked me, the day I carry my baby, so she's not asking me, is, is, am I the one that give birth to the boy? I said yes. Now I said, okay, this is a way for me that I can do the family planning so that I will not make the same mistake for the next, for how many years that I want before I will not get married or before I will settle down. The family planning, as I think that it for myself is good and it match my own body system because people used to say if then some they did the family plan they used to feel, feel sick or they used to lose weight or this but me I'm okay I did not feel anything. If I see we can shave the first summer we be for when we can shake to we maloni or you to she she for us ti pe mo bi lo bo e se ri o ma di pe yan mama bi mo bi mo in time te o fe ta ti mo koko gba abere o ala o do ti koko gba si ojo keta ni mo ko feel e but a ti gba en ti mo tin gba o se koko fun o se pe o je ki ma ru abi mo nsan ra eni ti o change lara mi o de wa oke to some of bibi alabe mu gba o de help me lo yi pe mo no em owo ti o se mi o no ati pe o de lo lo yin pe won lo yin de bi ke mo fe ma lo se se nti so fa o awon eyan kokon ti mo mo ko da ikonu ogbon a to bi merin awon meta fa won ti da family planning but mo so pe ko so family plan o ma je pe yan ru ma je pe lo yun pe ni kon but mo so pe pe temi se to do ni pe wa okay awon no be o se so as you know the primary health care system or pretty much the primary health care center is the closest to the community at the grassroots and our role is to ensure that um, we bring health care uh, quality effective healthcare to the people at the community that is accessible for them and also acceptable to them at a cost that they can afford and which we as a nation can also sustain and so in doing that we have to engage the community and that's where um, the pop care project has actually been most effective in that one it has um, helped in reducing maternal mortality mobility and mortality because here in with this project we're looking at post-pregnancy family planning which means we're trying to help the woman um, ensure she doesn't have any unplanned pregnancy um, right after delivery and that uh, that way we're ensuring that she's able to recover well from that delivery um, she's able to feed well, she's able to take care of her child well. And so indirectly, we're looking at keeping her healthy and keeping her child healthy as well. So by implementing this project, um, it has been able to contribute to reducing morbidity, uh, maternal morbidity and mortality, and also infant and, infant and child morbidity and mortality as well. Every bit of the intervention especially that has worked, we want to be sustained by the government. One good intervention as a logistics, logistics officer that we want to be sustained is the introduction of the commodity family planning commodity tracker that was introduced to manage the commodity family planning commodity in the facilities. It was implemented in the crop care facilities. And because it has worked there, we requested that it be scaled up in other facilities. And we have done that. We have trained all our providers in all the facilities across the state. And it's currently being implemented. They're using it. It is working. And we are hopeful that it will continue to work. And we look at other things that can be added to it to make it work more effectively. We went to intensive training 
where you were we were taught we are given a refresher course on the basic method of family planning and also this seventh day we had a, a day practical just to revise and practicalize what we have been taught theoretically when clients come for family planning the counseling i give it's it's more in depth now they have the autonomy of choosing the methods that they want to use we don't enforce method on them monthly we do go for monitoring and again in our community it changed the life of our people in the community with the counseling before before they came in the board if you say 18 years um 17 16 15 years they could have get pregnant but now with it with this training and this counseling it changed the our environment it's made uh, people to know that uh, to be aware of what is called family planning, especially the young first time moms. Women, they were so much interested because they now saw the need for assessing family planning services. We usually correct the myths and their misconceptions. And then when they, they come back, they are always so grateful you will see the appreciation and it is when it is there we too that is doing the work we feel fulfilled and because of that i just want to say thank you to pop care and all the people that are organizing the project a community volunteer recognition event took place in lagos nasarawa and river state and the best performing community volunteers across the 11 local government areas were identified and given awards all the community volunteers received certificates of appreciation.